Welcome back, everyone. Growing outrage today among uh, some of the victims of Hurricane Sandy, some who have experienced some of the worst devastation during that storm, including seeing part of their community literally go up in flames. You're seeing some video of that uh, on your screen there from Breezy Point, New York. In the end, more than 100 homes were destroyed. And if that wasn't enough, now we're hearing many of those homeowners are being slapped with housing violations. Senior correspondent Eric Sean is live in Breezy Point with more on this story. Eric? Hi, Janet. Well, imagine if your house was destroyed or severely damaged by Hurricane Sandy. You come home to the mess and find tacked to your front door as a notice threatening criminal prosecution. That's what's happened and has stunned some people here in Breezy Point when they get that surprise from the government. Look at the damage at this house. The waves knocked this building off the foundations. It floated right next to the building next door, which then hit this house. And imagine this is your home. You've been dealing with all this, and then you come home and see this attached to your front door. It is a notice of deficiency from the Department of Buildings and says you are hereby notified there is a deficiency at this address, and you are ordered to remedy this deficiency. It tells you to repair and or replace, if possible, to make sure you get all necessary permits. The folks here just can't believe it. I think the city needs to work with us and not against us. You know, to impose a fine, to threaten violations. I mean, just look around. It's obviously people who have never stepped foot, stepped foot here. Because if you saw what was going on here, you wouldn't have the nerve to put that on our door. A spokesman for the Department of Buildings says, quote, these violations were issued solely to document the damage that occurred and property owners will not face any penalties as a result. They all say it's part of the bureaucratic process to try and assess all the damage here uh, from Hurricane Sandy from both in Queens and also in Staten Island. An estimated 891 homes and buildings are uninhabitable and may have to be demolished. They're considering some massive demolishments of uh, some buildings in Staten Island and elsewhere about 200 or so sometime in the next few months. Back live now, here's another issue that we have. Look at this kitty cat. Uh, there are a lot of stray cats around. This one seems to be uh, well-fed, belonging to a house over here. But they, like the people, just walking around. And today the ASPCA, uh, right now actually, is taking care of strays and taking them in. Certainly a heartening sight when you know that the animals, like this cat here, is, uh, they're, that they're being taken care it of. It looks like you got yourself a little guy. friend. You have a little Back catnip you. in your pocket. Eric, is, that, is this whole thing staged? <laughs> or... <laughs> no, no, just showing a little love. You were standing here and they, the two of them just started coming right over. And you know? They need, they, need, they need some love. And... They see a kind soul. You know, when they see it, Eric, there you go. Great report from Breezy Point, and one will continue to watch. What a community affected by so much, and all members of the family, including the pets, certainly affected. Eric, thank you very much.